Hello, cadets. We have another great episode for you today. If you haven't been living under a crypto rock, you know about decentralized finance and how it is revolutionizing the finance industry. We have asset staking, decentralized borrowing, decentralized lending, and decentralized money markets. While this may all sound great, just because it's decentralized doesn't mean it's living up to its efficiency potential. There are a few problems still plaguing the space. First, the user interfaces are hard to use. Second, there are no protection systems in place to prevent asset loss. Third, there is low capital efficiency and low to no liquidity. Well, we got to meet Yubo, founder of 8 Decimal Capital and CEO of Parallel Finance. Parallel Finance is looking to improve the DeFi space with a great user-friendly product and innovative features. Let's learn more about Parallel Finance together. I'm Captain Crypto, and welcome to Crypto Notes. Crypto Notes. Parallel Finance is a decentralized money market protocol that allows you to lend, stake, and borrow in the Polkadot ecosystem. You can lend and stake DOT or Kusama tokens at the same time to earn double the interest yield, and you can use your assets as collateral to borrow against them as well. To understand Parallel Finance on a deeper level, you must first understand the Polkadot ecosystem. Let's give you a quick rundown of Polkadot right now. Polkadot is a sharded blockchain, meaning it connects several individual chains, called parachains, together in a single network, allowing all parachains to talk to each other and exchange data between parachains in a secure manner. The beauty behind Polkadot is allowing each chain to be customized and optimized to specific use cases. You want a blockchain for just self-driving cars? You got it. You want a blockchain for just medical supply transportation? You got it. You want a blockchain for just trading Pokemon cards? You got it. More chains and more specialization means more possibilities for innovation. At the center of Polkadot, you have the relay chain that is responsible for the network's security, consensus, and cross-chain interoperability. It's surrounded by the pair chains. The relay chain is secured by staking dots by validators. There are also nominators that help validators by also taking their dots. You can think of validators as farms and the nominators as the people that help harvest the crops. Anyone can become a nominator, you just need to stake your dots. However, the main problem Parallel Finance is addressing is that in the Polkadot ecosystem, there is currently no way for users to leverage their staking with lending and borrowing. Currently, you can only stake your dots, and while you do get a healthy return, if you want to unstake your dots, you have to wait 28 days to get them out. You also can't lend or borrow any assets if your dots are staking. That's where Parallel Finance comes in. Parallel Finance wants to become the de facto money market protocol on the Polkadot ecosystem by allowing users to lend, stake, and loan DOTS or KSM. One of Parallel Finance's main selling points is the easy to use user interface that allows you to perform actions with one click versus the more complicated Polkadot user interface. The other main selling points are automated validator selection, margin staking, parallel insurance pool, and the staking derivative protocol. I know that seems like a lot, so we'll quickly break each of them down. Currently, to stake your dots on a validator, you have to manually select a validator from a list of hundreds, and then have to decide which one is best for you. However, Parallel Finance uses an advanced staking validator selection strategy to make a selection automatic. Second is margin staking where you can double or triple your interest yields. Let's take an example. You hold Kusama. You stake the KSM with Parallel Finance and get back X KSM. You then lend that X KSM on a money market and borrow more KSM. You send the borrowed KSM to the automated market maker and receive more X KSM. If you have your dots staking with a validator, there is the potential to lose your holdings if there is an outage of many validators. If a validator is found misbehaving or cheating, you could potentially lose your dots. You can instead pay for insurance in case something like this does happen with the parallel insurance pool. 
And last is the staking derivative protocol, which allows your staked dots to turn into X dots. Without the transformation of X dots or XKSM, you aren't able to lend or borrow more assets for margin staking. There is one last innovative feature by Parallel Finance, and that is the interest rate curve. Parallel uses an advanced formula to calculate the borrow interest rate depending on utilization. So as you can see, we have Aave and Compound's interest rate curves as compared to Parallel. Once utilization reaches around 80%, the curves on all three platforms change, but it is only Parallel that has the smoothest curve. This means that as a borrower, you can expect a smooth upward growth versus the other curves that have pretty sharp and almost unexpected changes in rate. A smoother curve creates a better overall user experience. Parallel Finance is setting itself up to be a great success in the Polkadot ecosystem. It has a great user-friendly UI, an innovative lending and borrowing system, and margin staking that will allow you to massively increase your interest yields to help you get that sweet, sweet new microwave you've always wanted. The black and silver stainless steel one with the giant turn knob on sale at Best Buy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for future videos. Remember to hodl, secure crypto, and may Satoshi and Vitalik be with you always.